This is the worst quality t-shirt I have ever ordered in my entire life. I, I was shocked. This video is going to be an extensive review of the print-on-demand company This New. Does their website, their shipping, their pricing and their printing quality stack up against the other print-on-demand companies on the market? Or should you just avoid them entirely? Let's find out. I just want to say a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. We're going to talk about them a bit later, but for now, let's break down another print-on-demand company. This new is a Chinese-based print-on-demand company with over 500 different products. They say the pricing is 70% lower than other print-on-demand companies, we're gonna see how true that is a bit later on. They have nine factories and they cooperate with a further 100 factories. So it's a pretty big company. At the moment, they integrate with Shopify and with Amazon, which in the print on demand world just isn't very good. In fact, it's terrible. These days, you need to integrate with Etsy. It's just a basic, basic thing. Let's have a look at their website. Honestly, I'm finding it kind of ugly, but let's not look at the aesthetics. You have two main pages. You have the customized page and you have the products page. It seems like the product page just allows you to buy products like any other shop. For example, if we want to buy this colorful butterfly wing trumpet thing, we can click buy or we can sell it, right? But it seems like we're just buying this news plain products. This is not a marketplace for sellers. You wouldn't design something and put it on this platform and sell it because this new doesn't have a marketplace for sellers. Under the customize section, let's have a look. Here is where you can actually create and customize products. So for example, we want to click customize t-shirt unisex all over print, $14.99. We can choose the size, where it's being shipped to, the, all of that kind of stuff, and then we can click design. So let's go through and actually click design. And this is actually where I struggled with most. I found it really, really slow. I found it really clunky, really ugly. This is what the design screen looks like. Let me just exit this over here. We've got the product, we've got this over here. And if we click design, we'll be able to add a couple things. So we've got image text, my files or material. My files is where I'm going to go. And I'm going to upload just this design, which is just my go to fit. There you go. I click fit and move it over. And there you go. I can also click fill, but I want it, I want it to fit. So it's a bit smaller. Now I know this isn't all over print, but whatever. I'm just showing you the process. It's, it's a very simple process. Actually, it's, it's not as bad as I thought it, it was first time around. It was a lot worse, but I guess because I've used it before, I kind of know how to do it. And then all we need to do is click save. You have areas. Yes. Click save. And then we need to go through and either sell it or buy it ourselves. As I did say, the most annoying part of this entire website is its speed. It's very, very slow and it only gets slower the closer you get to checkout. So if we click sell, you want to add to my store for a sale or add to download list or design and buy for myself. So let's just click buy for myself. And here's where you add it to the cart. It's been added to my cart and now I need to go through and actually click checkout. And here I would confirm order and pay. It would be going to my address, which is over here, but it's blurred out obviously. Now, because I have done this before, it makes it a bit easier. But the first time I ever tried this, it was not easy easy at all. And then we have a few different shipping methods. Now, all in all, I found the design process, the website, all of it very, very slow. And now I know it sounds like I'm being a bit critical here, but I'm just trying to be as blunt as possible when there are so many print on demand companies out there and so many incredible print on demand companies out there. The bar is so high. So look, we're going to see what happens. We're going to wait for the stuff to arrive. We're going to review it. We're going to see if it's worth it. We're going to see if the price is any good. And we're going to see if the quality makes up for the kind of rubbishy website. Let me just quickly tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. I personally have my own print on demand course on Skillshare. It's a basic print on demand course that kind of takes this video and adds a whole bunch of different elements to it, talks a lot more about design, a lot more about marketing, a lot more about niche research, and that is actually hosted on Skillshare. 
I have personally been using Skillshare now for quite a few years to learn various different things. Photography, Premiere Pro, like video editing, that kind of stuff. And recently I've been learning a lot about how to draw. Now, I've always kind of known how to draw and I've done art and I've, I've always liked drawing, but I've been learning from someone called Jazza, who's a YouTuber who has a whole bunch of courses on Skillshare and he teaches you how to do character design and how to draw the anatomy. And I'm loving it because I'm using what I'm learning to create better print on demand designs. Now, one of the main reasons why I like Skillshare is because they have a really cool offer. For the first 1000 people that sign up, you can get one month free. And in that month, you can learn whatever you want. You could take my entire course. You can take all of these courses that I'm currently taking as well. The reason I, I choose Skillshare most of the time is because I love structured courses. I love following a step-by-step -step on how to do something. And as well as that, I love being able to ask a question to the instructor and, and get a bit of help from them if I need it. So if you do wanna sign up for Skillshare, then check the link down below. And if you do sign up, definitely check out my more in-depth print on demand course because I think you'll really, really love it. It's been 11 days now and I'm hoping it's gonna arrive anytime soon because, well, it did say seven to 15 days and I wanna just get on with this review. So, yes, let's go and get it. I know that is them. Let's go and get it. Here is the item. Okay, let's open it and have a look. So we've got a few different things here. We've got a hoodie, a sweater, a t-shirt, a pair of socks, and an all over t-shirt. But before I review the print quality and the, the actual item quality, I'm gonna stuff them all in the washing machine because if they can't survive the washing machine, then what's the point of all of this? So let's have a look if they survive the wash test. They are now all done in the wash. It is the next day. It took a while with the wash and then a whole day leaving them out to dry. This is the sweater. Now, if we have a close look at it, firstly, the thing that stands out to me the most in terms of quality of material is there's two different colors. I don't know, hopefully the camera's picking this up, but if you have a look, the color of this elasticated band at the bottom, the color of the collar, and the color of the elasticated wrist bits, I don't know what that's called, is a different gray to the actual gray of the material. What? I've never seen this before in my entire life. Now, in terms of general quality, it looks really, really comfy. It's very, very thin, but it looks really, really soft. Now, it's so incredibly thin that the material of the, you can hear this, that is the design. Right, that is the design coming through. And, and that's just because it's very thin. But in terms of like stitching, you can see if, if I pull the arms, you can see how the stitching shows through, right? So I'm not so sure I'm a fan of the quality. I mean, there's loose, there's loose bits here as well. Look, in terms of the design, the colors are spot on, like genuinely spot on. It's very good. The only thing I don't like is that plastic feel and the plastic look, it doesn't, I don't know, it looks like it's just been slapped there. It doesn't look like it's actually woven into the design, right? And like when you look closely, you can see I can probably, I can probably just pull this off. It looks like it's literally just been stuck on, right? It wouldn't surprise me if like this bit came off from the, the lace of the design. But that is the sweater. Now we're gonna get to the prices right at the end, but that's the sweater. Let's have a look at the t-shirt. This is the worst quality t-shirt I have ever ordered in my entire life. I, I was shocked, absolutely shocked. Are you ready for this? There it is. Okay, so in terms of the t-shirt material, that is absolutely fine. The stitching is, is good, you know, it's, it's slightly better than the other one, but it's still, you know, when you pull it, you can still see some of it. The coloring of the collar is the same white. Everything is pretty good in terms of the actual t-shirt and it, feels really soft. The design even feels really soft. You don't even uh, feel there's a design there. The whole thing is just lovely and soft. However, the design. Now this design is so unbelievably poor. Not only does it look super pixelated, 
super washed out. The, it's just horrible. I'm going to compare this to the sweater. So you can just get a, a, an understanding of what I mean by the colours being so unbelievably washed out. I mean, have a look at that. Look at the difference of that. How insane is that? that uh, it's just completely washed out. I, if I got this in the post, I would be very, very, very disappointed. So that is the t-shirt. Now with the hoodie, now this came out in the wash, which is a bit annoying, but, um, but whatever, I can, I can put it back in at some point. They sent me an extra small. I ordered a medium, whatever, you know, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't, mm, yeah, it looks pretty small. Now in terms of the actual quality, this is probably by far the best quality item here. You know, the stitching is really, really, really good. There's no, well, I don't see any like, ex like exposed stitch just flying out anywhere. The coloring of the elasticated band at the bottom is the same, so they've, they've matched that. <clears throat> wow, you know, so that's good. In terms of the actual design, now again, it doesn't look like it's been blended in at all. It just looks like it's been slapped on there and you can see a very obvious line all the way around the design where it's been slapped on. And like I said with the other one where the lace could come off, it actually has come off here. You know, if we have a look at this lace, it's come off and that is not acceptable for a design, you know, especially when people are paying good money. It is a hoodie. People will pay $30 for a hoodie and you can't have the design coming off. It's very soft inside, very thick, very warm, you know, so that's, that's spot on, really, really soft. Now let's have a look at the two products that are, well, different to what I usually review. This is the all over t-shirt. Now, I know this design is probably hurting your eyes. I'm very sorry about that. This is just a, a repeatable pattern that I found online and I used it. In terms of the actual material quality, I don't understand why all over prints sometimes have this silky, sport top material. It's very, very silky, it's stretchy, um, shiny, very, very shiny. And I don't know if I would ever, well, forgetting the design, I don't know if I'd ever feel comfortable wearing this. It doesn't, it just feels weird. It, in terms of the actual quality of the material, I mean, this is what you're going for. The actual material quality seems pretty good. And in terms of the design, look, the design is clear on there. I don't have any reservations about the design. There's, the quality is there. You know, it's a bit blurry, like a tiny bit blurry. It's just, this is a very weird material. Am I happy with this product? Well, I'm happy with the print, the printing quality. Um, and I'm actually happy with the item quality, right? But what I'm not happy with is I wasn't expecting this kind of silky sport top. I was expecting just a normal t-shirt that had an all over print, because that's what I wanted to get. This is very weird. And last but not least, socks. I decided to go for something different this time and order some socks. So again, this is a repeatable pattern that I found online and I put in the Imagine logo that I just so love. Now, in terms of the quality of these socks, itchy. I have tried them on. I know I've got a sock on my hand, this looks weird, but I have tried these socks on. They, I don't know what material they are, but they are very, very like itchy and scratchy. <laughs> Now, maybe they just need to go through a few more washes, whatever, that, that's absolutely fine. In terms of the quality, again, it just looks a bit blurry. You'll be able to see from the close-ups, but it looks a bit blurry. Uh, the, the logo at the top is very blurry, so I'm not even going to factor that in. I just wanted to put that in there just to kind of make it somewhat unique. You know how you want your socks to be super soft? These are very rough. In terms of the printing quality, look, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's actually... From afar, it looks pretty good. And when it's on your foot and someone's looking, it will look absolutely fine. When you're looking close, no, you, I probably wouldn't be happy, especially at the price point of these socks. All right, so let's talk about the pricing. Now, I've got the pricing on my iPad here because I don't remember it all off by heart. Starting with the all over t-shirt. This was $14.99. Next, we have the normal t-shirt, which was $11.99. And 99. Now, if we compare that to Awkward Styles, Awkward Styles was $8.60. So this new isn't 70% cheaper than all the competition. Right, then you have the Hoodie Gildan 886500, which is the hoodie, right? And that was $23.99. And the equivalent hoodie, I couldn't find the exact 886500 Gildan, but the equivalent hoodie on Awkward Styles was $17.90. So considerably cheaper. That's a huge profit margin difference there. The sweater was $18.99. On Awkward Styles, it was $13.90. Again, a huge difference. This is not 70% cheaper. This is like 
well, I'm not gonna say seven set more expensive, but it's considerably more expensive. And then the socks, these bad boys, they were $8.99. Now, I couldn't find socks on Awkward Styles, so I went to Printful, and the Printful cheapest sock was $12.50. Now, in terms of fit, I'm gonna go through a quick montage, trying them all on, and giving a quick two, three words of how they feel. Very silky, actually weirdly comfortable. I'm very happy with this t-shirt. The only thing lacking is unfortunately the quality of the printing. Why? Why? It's just so bad. Sweater. This is a medium sweater. I mean, okay, it's, it's very, very small. Extra small sweater that I ordered in a medium which I feel like blood is being cut off in various places, but this is also very, very small, very tight. I kind of look like a stick. So, the verdict from the company this new. Is it worth it? Is it any good? Starting from the beginning, just very, very quickly, the website wasn't up to standard of what a print-on-demand website should be. It was very clunky. It was very messy. Now, when the items came, I was slightly shocked by the quality. So quality wise, no, it's not on par with any other company quality out there. Firstly, they sent the wrong size. Secondly, the printing was all off. Thirdly, the medium sweater was simply not a medium. Now with prices, they say 70% cheaper. They were not 70% cheaper. They were actually considerably more expensive, sometimes four or $5 more expensive. So the verdict here is, would I recommend them? And the simple answer is no, I wouldn't. Uh, it makes no sense. There are many other companies out there that are far, far better that firstly ship in your own country, whether it's America or the UK or whatever. And if you do want to go with a Chinese company, there are other better companies out there. Like Huge Pod was considerably better quality wise, pricing wise, website wise as well. I know this video sounded like I was just bashing them, bashing them, bashing them, but I was trying to give the most unbiased, blunt, real review that I possibly could. I don't want to just, you know, give the best reviews about all the best companies. It just so happens that most of the companies I've reviewed have been very, very good. But now that I'm starting to review a lot more companies, a lot of the bad ones are gonna start showing up. And unfortunately, this was one of those bad ones. So that is my verdict of this new. Before I end this video, I just want to quickly tell you, if you do want to get the Skillshare course, my Print On Demand Skillshare course, the link will be down below. It's brilliant and just in general, Skillshare is really, really cool and I just think it's worth it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.